if we're down by a lot, if we're up by a lot, keep playing hard. What, was that kind of weird to then be in that situation down 21-3? Uh, I mean, it was kind of weird, but they were doing some new things because the quarterback was out. And right. um, we were preparing for, for a guy who could run. We were also preparing for the um, number seven to throw, too. But um, it was just more of like just settling down and getting into it. Because um, I think we were like all over the place with um, as far as defensively. Um, we just weren't playing our game. And, and a lot of people were doing things that, like, outside of their job. So um, we settled down and, and, and uh, started playing really well. Right. Was there anything that, that you or one of the other guys were, were talking about when you guys were down 21-3 to the rest we, of the defense? We just got to keep doing our job. Um, I mean, other than that, like we all like want, we're staying focused. Uh, we, we're all on the same uh, same same page as a team. Was that kind of what it was? Was just kind of settling down and everyone doing their job? Is that what led to just you know, string together all the stops? In a row? Yeah, I mean the offense has been playing great the last uh, half of the season. So I mean they kept doing what they were doing and. Um, Defensively, we just need to start doing our job and, and understand and communicate on the field. And I think that's where, where it really came is when we started communicating better. And how's it been with Leon in the mix on, on defense? How weird is that to just have him start earlier this week and then have him play and make a couple of plays? So I, defensively, I was never worried out there with him out there just from practice. Um, you know, he's an aggressive player and uh, he's just he's talented. He's real skilled. And it was, it was nice to have him out there because he made a few plays. You went on a 44-7 run after getting down uh, 21-3. What what changed on defense? Did you just settle down, get into, uh, get into a rhythm? Uh, yeah, um, getting on the same page and, and our communication getting better and just playing hard and, and not being denied. How, um, I mean, I guess the word is relieved. How, how, how relieved are I mean, just good at, after six wins or six losses in a row and some really tough ones to get to get off the tonight? Uh, I mean, it's great to win. Um, it, it gives everybody confidence, and um, I think this was huge because we've been needing this for everybody. Um, the secondary uh, guys are starting to fall off. I think this brought everybody back onto the, the same page, and it's just going to allow us to keep going up. The bucket game is always the bucket game, but you know, there's a lot more riding on this one this year. How exciting is that just to kind of think about you know, what this week can mean for you guys moving forward? It's exciting to know we can bring it back for the third time, which hasn't been done in some crazy amount of years. Um, and not only that, uh, you know, they're going to come and play hard. They're going to, it's going to be a good game regardless. And, um, you know, just this rivalry has become something like I had in high school and it, it's been, and been neat to be a part of. And it's going to be exciting to be in the mix this year. Playing for a bowl too. Yep. Is that in your mind at all now? I mean, all we got to do this week now is be 1-0, and that's all we're focused on is, is winning the next game and playing the next play. Thanks, Marcus. Thanks, Marcus. Thank you.